everything in my life seems great. Megan Joyce's life may look picture perfect. I graduated college. I got married. He's an amazing person. He is incredibly supportive. But what these happy photos hide is a relentless inner struggle. This is not something I love to admit, but I fight for my life every single day. The 27-year-old has spent more than a decade battling severe depression. It triggers for no obvious reason. They have defined my bipolar illness as treatment resistant. She says she tried every medication in the books, as well as checking into inpatient and outpatient treatment centers. Nothing worked until doctors at UT Southwestern Medical Center tried something bold, ketamine infusion therapy. I don't know if I would be here without the ketamine treatment. I drive from Austin every 10 days and I come for treatment and I'm in the hospital for about five hours and then I go home the same day. Several studies show ketamine can quickly stabilize severely depressed patients, but it does come with risks. There is a risk for addiction so that people, if they start taking ketamine on their own uh, on the black market, then that can be very dangerous. There are toxic effects in the brain if you overdose. On the other hand, for patients who do well on this and are getting the right dose under the guidance of a physician, it can be life-saving. When I have the IV in, it's 40 minutes, and then I stay for two hours after because it is an anesthetic. So they want to make sure that you don't have adverse side effects. Dr. Maduker Trivedi is closely monitoring Joyce, as well as the work his colleagues are doing at the bench. At UT Southwestern, we have the whole breadth of work being done. There are people working like Dr. Mantasia and basic research, understanding the exact mechanism of how ketamine changes molecularly and changes the mechanism of action. We got involved with really looking at how ketamine triggers an antidepressant effect because of the real need. Some of the recent clinical data has really shown that about a third of all patients don't respond to antidepressants. So what do you do for treatment for those individuals? UT Southwestern's Dr. Lisa Montegia is a neuroscientist whose lab pinpointed a key protein that helps trigger ketamine's rapid antidepressant effects in the brain. Whereas traditional antidepressants can take up to eight weeks to work, the effects of ketamine are seen within 60 to 90 minutes. The idea of trying to understand how you generate a rapid antidepressant response in patients. It's really the first time we've been able to study it. Her study published in the prestigious journal Nature shows that ketamine blocks a protein responsible for a range of normal brain functions. How we think ketamine triggers an antidepressant effect, this blocking the NMDA receptor, we think may also be causing the side effects associated with ketamine. One of the things we're working on is to try to see if we can identify compounds, slight derivatives perhaps, that may have the beneficial effects of ketamine in terms of triggering antidepressant effects without the side effects. In the meantime, Joyce remains optimistic for her future and the millions of others trying to defeat depression. That's why I really sought out ketamine is I really wanted to give back and just to have a chance at a semi-normal life.